Hey good people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ken O and I'm here to talk about behavior change. So let's talk behavior change. What is behavior change? Behavior change is the process of moving one person from a bad behavior or a bad habit to a good habit. It is transformation. It is the modification of how one carries out his lifestyle from a bad lifestyle to a good lifestyle. And the modern public health guys call it social behavior change communication. It's a strategy to help people and communities move to the right direction. So let's ask ourselves, what bad behaviors can we change? For some of us, you want to change the bad habits of smoking, drinking, multiple sex partners, obesity, nutrition. Some of us want to stop sugar. Some of us want to stop taking junk. Others can't sleep enough. Others have to watch pornography. We need to change that, don't you think so? And some of us can't put our masks on. The mask is always down here because of the policeman. So how can we change behavior? Behavior change is not about hardware, it's the software. We want to speak to the emotions, the cognitive functions, what happens outside there. It's just like a computer, you know, we have got hardware and software. So behavior change is all in the mind. It is a battle in the mind. We are looking at the belief system. The belief system helps you change your attitude and your outcomes. So, ladies and gentlemen, for us to change the behaviors, we need to understand that behavior change is a process it is not an event you have to do it by stage every stage is important and relapsing or recycling is okay it's normal when you give up it's okay so there are six stages that i want to talk to you about the first stage is the pre-contemplation stage this is where you even before you think about changing you're not aware that you need to change you're not aware that there's cancer out there you're not aware for example if you're a smoker you're not aware that you have got lung cancer you are not aware that you we have got sexually transmitted diseases you're not aware about COVID-19 for example and hence you don't need to see the importance of putting on a mask so in the pre-contemplation stage you have lack of awareness and for us to move you to contemplation stage, that's the second stage, then we need to help you perceive the importance. The importance here comes in when you come to terms with lung cancer can kill, COVID-19 can kill, these STDs, HIV can kill, and therefore it moves you from pre-contemplation to contemplation and contemplation is all now you start becoming aware of your situation aware of your environment you know very well that you love your smoke you love the puff going up in the sky you love the high you get from your drug from alcohol you love the hangover you get probably but again you're annoyed at the hangover you get therefore you start thinking mm -hmm, what should i do and then you look at pros and cons. So for me to help you move from the contemplation stage to the preparation stage, I would ask you to sit down and write the pros and cons of your behavior. If you womanize, if you watch porn, if you're drinking too much, if you're taking junk too much, if you are not putting on the mask in the right way, any behavior that you want to change, write the pros and cons and focus more on the pros, the positives. That's why you need to put your energy on. So from contemplation stage, we move into the preparation stage. In the preparation stage, this is the point where you have to move into action. You have already seized the opportunity. You have agreed that you need to change. You want to act. So for you to act, you need to be aware of all the positives that you're going to get when you begin changing your behavior. In the action stage, this is characterized by you have already started hitting the gym. If you're taking one crate of beer, you've gone down to 15 or even 10. You have already reduced, you have already put into action. And you're hitting the gym you're trying to move to the next stage and the next stage is maintenance but before you move to maintenance for you to stay at the action point you need to embrace accountability maybe you need to have a fitbit to keep you accountable you need to have a friend to keep you accountable and this is the point where you also have to be realistic you need to set goals that are very measurable attainable and specific for example you might not have been having friends 
let me say so and you need to start calling them so you not call 100 friends per day you at least you schedule call one per day not all of them if you are smoking 10 packs of cigarettes you're not going to stop at once but you're going to reduce that and as you reduce those packs or those cigarette packs then you need to replace it with something else get nicotine patches get chewing gum get water you need to replace bad behavior with a good behavior the time you're watching porn needs to be changed to something else you cannot tell me stop drinking and stop smoking and don't give me an alternative you know i find it interesting we want to tell the prostitute to stop prostitution you need to give her an alternative so for you to change behavior in the action phase then give an alternative and then from action we move to maintenance for you to maintain this behavior then you need to write down the pros you need to write down why are you changing this behavior and there is the power of the pen the power of writing it down when you write it down you get to believe it you get to seize it and to own that behavior change ask yourself why do i want to change this behavior and lastly after the maintenance stage this is what we call the relapse stage sometimes you just give up you're like when i miss that sugar how can i take this tea without sugar again you need to steer clear away from the friends that make you go to the bar or the friends that make you go to puff that cigarettes you need to stay away from those women who actually make you you know you can avoid them and if you want to reduce your sexual partners from 10 to 5 or from 5 to 4 or to 1 you need to stay away from for example porn sites or you need to stay away from bad company so whatever thing you're going through you need to steer away from the environment that makes you lose what you're supposed to do and if you want to keep fit then stay around friends who love fitness people who invest in fitness so behavior change has got that process pre-contemplation contemplation preparation action maintenance and then you relapse when you relapse don't give up it's part and parcel of the process you go back again and always mark if this didn't work well the next time i'm going to do this better behavior change is a process and something else ladies and gentlemen people say that it takes 21 days to change a behavior well there was a doctor who did that research but what people didn't understand in that research is that 21 was just one of the averages that he collected actually behavior change can take from eight weeks 66 days averagely all the way to six to eight months for your behavior to become default you need to take your time it can take 66 days the 21 days is just but a very popular cliche but behavior change takes a lot of time behavior change is a process take your time it's about the mind it's about the heart change your behavior get accountability keep it here keep it locked I wish you all the best as you change your behavior at home and wherever you are. Keep it fit here. Up your feet. 360.